Angie and Jeremy, more than 40 individual filmmaking teams participated in this year's Sato 48, but only one movie made a huge impression as it took home awards in some of the competition's major categories. It's an idea that started on a blank piece of paper and turned out to be an award-winning movie at the 2008 Springfield and the Ozarks 48-hour film challenge. I've got a regular job like everyone else. Uh, the story of Syringe basically told the story of a uh, drug user as he goes about his life and the kinds of sacrifices that he has to make to uh, live. Just like every entry, Syringe was written, shot, and edited down into a five-minute film all within two days. Everyone makes mistakes. The team that makes up Tempest Pictures shared many roles while on the set, from camera Everyone. work to acting and directing. Well, it was basically four guys just juggling the parts between each other. We'd hold the camera for a scene we weren't in, and we just switch back and forth. It was actually pretty fun. Syringe is the first film the group has ever entered in Sato 48, and members say it's probably not the last. The project went fairly well. I mean, it was rushed, but I thought the teamwork was Good. Several organizations in the community became involved in the challenge, which helped crews who were working with no budget. You get to, you know, test your abilities to make a film in a really short amount of time and uh, try to make it the best you can so, and compare it to everyone else's because you got to remember it's still a contest. Syringe was among this year's top 10 movies. It ended up winning in the categories for best cinematography, sound, editing, directing, and male performance. My team pulled through. They certainly showed me otherwise. So I was very impressed. Now, besides those golden statues, the young filmmakers also took home a cash prize and even had their film reviewed by an international panel of judges in the film industry. For more information on the big winners at Sato 48, you can look for our web extra at OzarksFirst.com. Back to you.